Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to organize your seeds and how to store your seeds. By storing your seeds in these little reclosable bags in containers that seal tight, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Seeds stay viable for years. Even if you just kind of fold the tops over like that, put them somewhere, they're good for at least three years. If you take a little more care, you put them in the reclosable bags, into containers, they can last five to 10 years really easily. Seeds have lasted beyond that. The whole key, and seed varieties differ, like lettuce seeds tend to dry out really quickly, tomato seeds tend to last forever. So the, the seeds vary um, based on the variety on how long they're gonna last for you. But you can save yourself a lot of money. I have hundreds and hundreds of seeds in this piece of furniture. I recommend getting something, it's almost like the old card catalogs. You know, the drawers are fairly uh, small, but they're nice and deep, you can put in lots of seeds. So this is how I organize them in the house. It's just too many seeds to put into something like this. Now, that's probably gonna fall. I'm gonna be setting this up with the seeds that I'm just gonna use for next season. So I'll go through everything I have organized here, pick out one of what I want to grow for 2021. And then on the backs, you know, it'll just say tomatoes or peppers or whatever. So I'll set that up and show you how I do that. This way I can just take this in and out of the garden and pop out what I need, put it back in, and I don't have to keep shuffling through uh, all these drawers, coming back, getting different kinds of things. Everything for 2021 will go in there and that'll be sort of a project for January sorting through all my stuff, getting that set up. I picked this up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, it was 40 bucks, kind of expensive, but I waited till it went on sale at half price, so it was $20 for all of that. So let me get some of this set up, and I'll just show you how I do that. So everything's been organized, and the whole key is to really put them in a Ziploc bag, something that's that you can seal, keep the air out. So if you can put them into, you know, something like that, you can use sandwich bags, you can use those containers, that will keep the air from drying them out. The seeds in there are from 2015 and 2017. I actually sell those green pill bottles at my seed shop. And those are tomato seeds that I collected um, from my plants years ago, and they're still viable. Here's the container. It's going to be set up just like you see. I'm going to spend the next month figuring out what I want to grow, and I can just take this whole container out. So it's a lot easier to travel with something like that. If you don't want to spend a lot of money or anything elaborate, I also sell these sports card pages and you can just fold and tuck your seeds in there, put them in a three ring binder and you can carry that in and out of the house. Hope this gives you some idea to organize your seeds, store them, but most importantly, it's going to save you a lot of money. You don't have to spend, you know, money every year to buy new seeds. Store them and you'll be able to re reuse them uh, for years to come. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.